We're here at the Bristol Sound and Vision Show 2015, where all the greats of hi-fi and home entertainment gather every year to show off their wares. Stereo speakers are always a big hit, and this year is no different, with plenty of new launches planned throughout the show. So without further ado, let's go and take a look. Q Acoustics used the show to unveil its new 3000 speaker range. Created by the same team as the successful 1000, 2000 and Concept 20 series, the five-strong range sees improvements across the board, including thicker baffles, improved comb materials and upgraded components on the crossover. The range is made up of the 3010 and 3020 stand mounters and the 3050 floor stander, as well as the 3070S subwoofer and 3090C centre speaker, which weren't being demoed at the show. Prices start at £140 for the 3010s, £190 for the 3020s and £500 for the 3050s, while the sub and centre speaker come in at £290 and £130 respectively. The range is available now. Over at Quad, the company is celebrating its 79th year by launching the brand new S-Series, which incorporates a specially designed ribbon tweeter and consists of two stand mounts, two floor standers and a centre speaker for multi-channel systems. We got a look at the striking mahogany finish here, but there will be a range on offer including black and white. Prices start at £600 for a pair of S1s and go all the way up to £1700 for a pair of the S5 floor standers. PMC introduced a new sub to their successful 20 speaker series, named the 20 Sub, which PMC says is designed for use with movies and music alike. Using class D amplification, the 20 Sub features two 7-inch custom-designed long throw bass drivers and offers balanced stereo analogue and AES EBU digital inputs, with RCA unbalanced converters included. It's available now in four finishes for £2950. The new A5R floor stander got its debut over at the Spendor stand, a 2.5-way speaker that is a little more compact than its bigger brother, the award-winning A6R. Its claimed party trick is room friendliness, and its sound performance promises to be almost independent of room placement. Spendor has applied technology from its D-line of speakers, with both 15cm drivers featuring cast magnesium alloy chassis, high-efficiency motor systems and optimised electrodynamic damping, and are supported by a 22mm tweeter. Five finishes are available, starting from £1,995 for the pair, and they're available now. EPOS was showing off its K3 floor standing passive loudspeaker, which got its first outing at CES in January, alongside the brand new entry-level K5 stand mounter, the K5C centre speaker and the K-sub. Among the improvements from previous models, the K5s feature a front-firing port mounted onto the front baffle, and a removable rear baffle to help prevent unwanted resonance. This also means the K5 is capable of the Active K upgrade option, which allows it to become a fully active digital solution. He'd used the show to premiere the floor standing Envoy, the big brother to the well-established Enigma speakers. Featuring a non-directional design and transmission line reflex technology, its sloping front baffle presents two of its three drive units up into the room rather than directly at the listener, with the third sitting at the bottom of the cabinet, the aim being to eliminate the sweet spot. Get saving though, you'll be set back £10,000 for the pair. Tannoy called its launch of the Bristol show its most exciting new product lineup in recent years, with the new Five Strong Revolution XT series. Made up of two bookshelf speakers, two floor standards and a centre channel, the new speaker range is an upgrade of Tannoy's best-selling Revolution range and sees the introduction of a new dual concentric driver. Available in a choice of dark walnut or medium oak real wood veneers, prices start from £599 for the XT6F bookshelf model and go up to £1,299 for the XT8F floor stander. A new UK hi-fi brand took a bow at the show, with Sonic Concepts' modern British audio company showing off their first stand mount and floor standing models. Developed at the company's headquarters in Kent, the Pulse stand mount will start from £3,500 and the Progression floor stander from £5,300. Riga was showing off prototypes of the new RX series, set to replace the current RS series. There are three speakers in the range, the RX1 stand mounter and the RX3 and RX5 floor standers, with a launch hope for sometime around June. Pricing is still TBC, but we'll bring you all the updates as soon as we have them. Finally, for the big spenders among you, Qdos was demoing a prototype of its new flagship Titan 808 loudspeaker, the successor to the Titan 88. While it keeps many features of the original, including the split cabinets for bass and mid-bass, the mid-bass driver, tweeter and crossover have all been advanced and refined in the new model, while the cabinet design has seen a makeover too. How much will it set you back? Prices start from £20,000. Plenty to see then, and that was just the speakers. Do leave us a comment below to let us know what your favourites were. And if you want to see more videos from the show and what Hi-Fi, don't forget to click subscribe. If you want to get in contact, you can get us on all of the social media channels. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and add us on Google+.